Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what do we got going on today? Okay, we're gonna go for a trail run and the conditions are perfect to suck. We've got um, warm weather came in, first had extreme cold, then extreme warm, and now we're gonna have freezing, so we're gonna have basically a sheet of ice. Sheet of ice means Catulas, if I got that name right, micro spikes. Now, I had a set of Catulas here for at least, um, gosh, seven, ten years. When they first came out, I bought them because I knew they looked cool. But unfortunately, see that? Finally, after heavy, heavy, heavy use, it pulled off during an outing. So, pulled out the trusty paracord, and this repair has been holding. But I noticed, same thing's going on here. You can see that right there. It's starting to pull away. There it is. Now, it's too critical of a gear item to mess around with. So we bought the new, the new, 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 if they call it, new improved harness, Catulas. Micro spikes. Gosh, I hope it's Catulas. Hope that's how you say it, but I don't care. So let's take a look, see what's in the box. All right, oh, we have a little Catula. I don't ever remember getting a little carry bag. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have instructions, like, like really, I need instructions for these, but I guess we do have instructions. Okay. Gosh, look at this. This is this 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 is kind of funny. We have a desiccate package for something made of stainless steel and I think silicone. Hmm. Okay, maybe it's for the instructions so they don't get wet. I don't know. All right, so I'll take a look here. Even things I can put my name. So let's take a look at the new improved. What's the difference? Um. Okay. Oh gosh. Gosh, I don't know. It feels a little bit, um, new improved harness, it feels a little bit thinner than the old one. Is that an improvement? Mm, I don't know. Um, there's, uh, this looks thinner too. Oh, uh, the spikes, okay, they're more aggressive spikes in the bottom. They're much more aggressive. Looks like, um, here's these spikes right here. So it looks like, um, here's the old Catulas. Spikes right here. You can see, looking at it, we've got a, looks like, if I didn't know better, we have an extra set of uh, spikiness right here. See that? We don't have that on the um, on the old ones. So you got, looks like a dual spike system here. So we've got, how many, you got one, all right, so that's a little bit different. It's a little bit different the way they set it up. All right, so that's kind of interesting. Chain looks about the same thickness. Well, maybe a little, I can't tell. It looks about the same thickness. So, gosh, I don't know now. I don't know now. Is it really improved with a thinner, with a little bit thinner harness? Hmm, okay, only one way to tell. We're gonna take this out for a little bit of a run, I think. Um, I'm gonna go six, maybe seven miles, maybe more, on this icy, icy conditions. I also have old footage of the previous Catulas in action. So we're gonna put that out there too if I can find it on my computer. If I can't, well then I won't put it in the review. But if I can find it, we've got uh, old action of the Catulas going up ice covered mountains and stuff like that. And we'll do um, new actions of Catulas here. So with the trailhead, so let me suit up. We're gonna run, we're gonna use hiking poles. We're gonna run, we're gonna run this. We're not walking, we're running. Extra garment is supposed to get in the 20s. Uh, backpack on. Let's go. Okay, we're at the trailhead. Um, there you can see. Gosh, how long can one person balance on his feet? Well, still balancing. Okay, that's about... There we go. So they look like they're on pretty good. This is obviously a sheet of ice. I mean, it is high OT ugly sheet of ice here. Um, I wouldn't want to be running this. Hell, I wouldn't want to be walking this without uh, without these spikes on it. I wouldn't want to be pulling that one off. So, okay, 
they're performing very, very much like a Tulis. Um, happy about that, because they are a So, so far they seem to be doing good. Um, what we'll do is I have another five, six miles to go. I gotta put the headlamp on pretty soon. They haven't slipped off my feet. Let's see here. Still on. Still on. All right, let's keep going. Now it's nice little icy here. It's starting to get dark too. All uphill. Okay, went up that slide hill pretty good. Looks like a back the main wide dirt road slash trail. And here we are. Oh, okay. Some mud. All right, that was all uphill there. And got my breath back. That's nice. That's a good thing. The trail run going uphill. You um you need to get winded a little bit going up the hill. As soon as you get level ground, bam. Pretty soon you're gonna go. What do we have here? Hmm. That's interesting. There we go. Okay. Keep this going. Okay, according to my estimate, I have at least eight miles under my belt, jogging, as predicted, temperatures drop, a little freezing is happening now, this stuff is getting crunchy, or slick, we'll see, I think I'll, I do at least eight, in the front so far. I think there is a mile, at least a mile more to go. That's my answer. We'll check and see what the iPod says. It has an accelerometer. It tends to be pretty accurate. Let's run this in. And then we'll take a look at the so-called new improved Catulas. Okay, we're back. First thing, let's see what we did for distance. Okay, looks like uh, 13, I you might not be able to see it, 13.8 miles. Um, by 13 point, actually 13.9 miles. Um, gosh, that's a little more than I thought I did. I was thinking more like 10 miles, 11, probably 11 per the trail map or something like that, but um, who knows? Who knows? I was I went off trail. I did a lot of work on some hills. I went so it could very well be true. It's a pretty accurate um, 
device, uh, but I do know I definitely, there's no question, just the base map alone has got me at 1011. But I did go off trail a little bit, so hey, who knows? But um, brings up another topic though be able to run, be able to run over ice with a backpack and spikes on over ice, mud, hills, slush, snow. That's a pretty liberating thing. Um, year ago, absolutely impossible. There's just no way I could even dream of doing that. Now I'm not even winded, I don't even feel stressed. So, I mean, and I'm 46 years old. You guys, girls out there, you want to be part of, you know, you want to be part of it. You want to like, you know, you go to the Bushcraft channel, you watch YouTube, go to the message boards. You know, if you want to immerse yourself in it, like get into it. You gotta be like, I don't know, um, conditioned, train. I, that's all I'm saying, train, you know, now I'm not saying go out run 13 miles. But hey, you know, um, walk a couple miles. If you can't walk a couple miles, walk half a mile. If you can't walk half a mile, do 100 yards, do whatever. Just get out, get some action on the trail. It's it's liberating. Now, my little rant out of the way, what do I think? Oh, okay, um, that's the old one, this is the new one. New ones look slightly thinner built, maybe a micron thinner built. Um, the chain, I can't tell. I really can't tell. It could or could not be. Very close. It's definitely slightly thinner on this material. The chain, I don't know, but there is an extra, um, as I said before, an extra, you can tell right there, it's hard to see, but it's dark. An extra one of these. A little clamp. I think this one's got seven. This one's got six. So, I don't know. Uh, I don't see any signs after all that running of stress on it whatsoever. And uh, as I said, this repair, which I did on this one, this has held up just fine. This is an extra set. Uh, if, I, if a friend comes down or if I need an extra set, this will still run. Despite the fact that this one here may pop off in the back, this paracord repair, which should be a mental note to anybody out there, works very good. And looking at this one, there's also a slot where in the future I could do, if I had to, do such a repair there. There's a um, slot right there for tying off, which is very similar to this, which has slots on it. So, one of the difference is this has a metal, if you can see right here, it's, this is dark, this is what it is. It has a metal piece right here. This one here has a slightly firmer, no metal piece, but this very front here is slightly firmer. Also, there's no sign saying front. The first time I wore them kind of confused me because I'm used to looking it says front there. But so there's a little there's no this has a little metal beam, metal bar, no metal bar, but a little firmer. Time will tell. Time will tell, but um, as to which one is if if these new also oh wait, wait, one more thing. This little back thing here is a little different. It's got a little bit of ridge thing right there for grabbing it, pulling it back up on your shoe or boot. One other thing I didn't get a chance to test is I was using, um, I don't know if you can see, can I lift my feet that high? Yes, I can. Ah, ow. That's no easy thing to do, especially after that run. Okay, um, so I was using hike, hiking shoes. I wonder how they work with my boots, because I wore these with like thick insulated boots. So I haven't tested these out with the thick insulated boots to see if they'll stretch the same distance without any problems. But if I have any problems, any issues with the new model Catulas, you can bet I'll update the channel. And once again, thanks a lot for looking. <sighs> Tell you one thing. Without these Catulas, I would be in a little bit of trouble here. Um, I mean, it's like a... Basically, I'm walking up a stream, a little trickle of a stream, did a runoff with a frozen uh, bottom on the, ah, uh, where I guess everything got compressed in. So that's the way it is. Unfortunately, I think maybe the ice will stop pretty soon. I suppose might be one of the downsides uh, to spring. A lot of slush that freezes into ice. 
see a very, 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 very icy, um, very icy terrain, I guess uh, would be it. So we'll see how this goes. The higher up I get, as is right now, without those Cthulhu's, I'd be in uh, deep doo-doo.